hello and welcome to yet another project demonstration we have today today i'll be showing you this latest project called a room mode uh, this has been used this is being used for a while now it is a combination of a standard quite generic home automation project as well as a mood lighting project uh, over here we have a small box this is probably the first time i'm using a quite professional looking box for a project around uh, the bo the box contains a, a microcontroller which is the MSC 430 a voltage regulator a ULN driver for the relays that we have over here which control these four sockets as well as the uh, Darlington is driving these uh, RGB LED strips over here uh, and uh, I have drilled some holes for the LEDs which indicate which of these sockets are on the software inside is capable of handling up to six relays but i have only powered only four because i have only used only four because i uh, have only four sockets that are required and uh, that's pretty much in on the hardware end uh, the whole thing is powered by a standard ac adapter and i have a remote which is a standard ir remote can see the pulses uh, the protocol that this particular remote follows is the sony one or the sirc now th uh, how this works is actually pretty interesting now you can see uh, the the pulses uh, in this remote these pulses are actually modulated on a carrier wave of around 38 kilohertz now when the button is pressed the data packet is sent from the remote to the decoder over here the decoder converts this signal into a, f a form of on and off pulses which are decoded again by the software running on the msc430 controller inside it and based on the code that is sent from this remote uh, a particular control action is being performed so it is that simple uh, so let's see it in action you can see if I press the first or the number one key the load 5 will get lit up the load 5 is in fact this uh, LED lamp over here and in order to not uh, make it confusing the button that is uh, on the bottom or the on the lower side of the one key that is the 4 key is used to turn off the load so if i press the 4 it will get turned off similarly if i press 3 another load will turn on which is in this socket and again to turn it on we can use 6 now to turn on this uh, another load we can use 7 which is the soldering iron over here and to turn it off we can press this lower key as well and so on and so forth now the main issue while uh, or the main reason for designing such a thing was uh, this particular thing that we all had have at our home in India this is a mosquito repellent now this has pretty nasty smell and which is pretty bad so I I had to always uh, get up and then turn it on so turn it on and turn it off so to overcome that I am basically made this for that so you can see I can do a pretty much anything can be done uh, now uh, it also has a couple of lighting modes or you can say a couple of colors that you can actually use to light up your room you can see on this remote I have a red green blue and yellow all fours are already labeled so if I press the red key can see the red LED will turn on if I press the yellow the yellow color will come and if I press the blue the blue color will come and if I press the green the green color will come now you have we have other uh, colors as well like if I press this particular key I will get a cyan color if I press another key I will get a magenta color and if I press another key like if I press the lower one key I get the white color 
Now there is an interesting feature which uh, which actually completes the loop. For example, if I press a key that has not been programmed yet, for example, the power key has not been programmed. If I press the power key, you can get you can see that this particular light or the error light will turn on, which indicates that this is the wrong key that you are pressing. So you don't have to guess around and see what what is wrong with the system. And if you want to turn off this LEDs, you can just press the mute button and the LEDs will turn on, turn off. So hope you like the demonstration. If uh, I'll be posting the pictures of the circuit boards on my blog. So thanks for watching.